Welcome back, everyone. I am Malathus playing Mendel's Bees, a skyblock map that is meant as a tutorial for those wonderful but annoying forestry bees. Those, the ones that take forever to get anywhere, once you get them going, you can get so much good stuff out of them. So, as I said, woo, skyblock, I'm above the clouds. So, my mantra, don't fall. Have not played much in the way of skyblock, but so far I've not done too bad. But jumping back into things, we are, yeah, we're having a little bit of a technical issue. I just went back through I made two episodes because as I mentioned before full-time job and I really want to have content to put up so I will probably sometimes do a couple episodes at a time so I can put this up every Tuesday and Thursday but yeah, my recording program cut off, uh, looks like probably about a good inch, inch and a half of my screen for some reason. And so there's a lot of things that I was doing that you wouldn't have been able to see. So I'll just kind of give you a, a brief overview of what I managed to accomplish and then we'll dive into some other stuff. So just beginning stuff here, I made a storage drawer. Then I used the storage drawer, got the drawer key, concealment key. Uh, used the storage drawer to make upgrade templates, which got me the templates, but also got me some upgrades to use. I figure I may make a 2x2 two two drawer to put over by the mob farm. That way I can just put all of their drops in it. I made a compacting drawer. I'm thinking might be a good idea to have that. That way I can farm up pebbles and just throw them in there and get cobble or pebble whenever I want. In the process, during the last episode, I did manage to make a mob farm. I made it a little bit taller, thinking perhaps I, they might take some fall damage, because I, I had looked at somebody else's and they were saying that that's possible. But so far, they've not been taking fall damage. I have used slabs on all sides which from I had to fill in this level right here because as I was coming down the entryway here there was a skeleton it was right here yeah that one right there there was a skeleton that was you know able to see me and shoot me so I had to do some fill-in in order to prevent that. I was so excited, though, because in the process of coming back and forth, I managed to kill two Endermen and get two Ender Pearls. That, to me, that's just beyond exciting. I, I have a hard enough time with Endermen as it is. Put this back. Then I also went into the B tutorials, and all it does is give a little bit of information about bees. So I, I, I apologize. I've already read this all once. I'm not going to read it again. I, I, I just can't. So right now there's a little bit of time if you want if you really want to read it. You can just pause here and read it. 
Um, it, it's interesting, but if you have any any knowledge of forestry to begin with, then you'll already have a general idea. And then this same situation with this one. You can read through it. It's just talking about the characteristics of the bees. And uh, it sounds like some of the bees we're going to be working with on here are going to need really bizarre things like bookcases. So it's probably from the career bees. Then under the forestry, I turned in from completing the manual mob farm, I got two honeycomb, which I had to use those to make two bee houses, early game uh, growth for bees. And that got me a couple flowers, a couple queens, and a couple dirt, because flowers got to grow on dirt, which just gave me a bed. Not going to lie. Not a huge fan of pink, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I, I, it, it lets me sleep. Then the next one is uh, breeding the, the queens in order to get drones and all that. So your first bee-related task is to get those queens working. They will need open air above them, flowers nearby, and of course, a place to work in. So I got to place down both bee houses and it gives directions on where to put them. I'll, I'll go over that. I'll go over that. And then later, if honey drops, that comes out of the honeycombs, which means the centrifuge comes from the centrifuge and the clockwork engine to power it, which that's actually kind of cool. I, I, I like the clockwork engine from Forestry. It's a pain to run anything large on it because it requires a lot of winding, but not terrible. And I did discover the Misk Mods quest line down here, which gave me the Better Builder wand. I should have went down below earlier and saw this. It would have saved me and will save me so much building time. But at this point, I need to get a place for the bees to start breeding. And, and you'll, you'll see kind of how slow that is. But I also want to try to grow more apple saplings. So can I make more yes so I am actually where do I want to go because I want to make apple saplings but I think I'll make that orchard later where do I want to put the bees Cause, crap I'm over ocean I thought it was over like a plains or something what what Oh, the plains is all the way over here. Really? Oh, I got something to kill. Die. Oh, warning. The skeletons and the zombies are really... The, I almost had a heart attack when I first killed one. <gasps> See? Yeah, that. That is like... What the hell? I, I'm... Amazed that... The uh, the pack author put that in there. But it scared the hell out of me when I first heard it. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. Alright, so I need... Wait, where did I put that? I'm going to go ahead and just put the compacting drawer down. And I'm going to put the pebbles there. And now I can take stone out. Gonna put that away, that away. 
I should make more apple juice. And I'm going to have to put the bed down. I'm going to have to. So I'm going to go ahead and put. Um, um, it's th this will be fine for now. Th this will be fine. This way I can sleep through the night. And not die. Okay, that might not be the best place for it. But I think... I think I'm going to put the bees going out that way. So I need to make... slabs because I am doing slabs that that's just what's going to happen as difficult as and I'm going to do lower slabs I, I really haven't got much choice because charcoal is actually more expensive than I really care for Oh, and that thing you saw down there, that was from the Garden of Glass uh, aspect of the mod pack. Not really important to this mod pack. All right, this is going to go much faster. Oh, I'm back over ocean again. Dang it. Dang. I think I'm going to have to make a pretty big area. I'm just going to have to, you know, fill out a huge area, I think. That's just what's going to have to happen. Yes. Do that. Well, I can put that back in the back in here. Once I use up more of the okay, yes, crouch. Once I use up more of this, still ocean. So obviously I'm probably making a very poor choice, but we'll just have to wait and see. I should dig down. Wait, I have nothing to carry it in. That, that would be part of the issue. I was thinking I was going to have to dig down and make a space, uh, use water. But I, I can't access, I can't move the water around. And I don't want to risk losing the dirt that I have. And I'm still in ocean. Really? I, what is over there? Do I have to move my mob farm? Please tell me no. That's going to be highly annoying. Extreme Hills. Ooh, what was that? What did... I got a plank? Hmm. That's Extreme Hills. What is over here? Stone Beach? No. So I need to be going over this direct. Okay, so I'm going to have to move my food production over here because at this point putting it over an ocean is, yeah. Food production needs to go over the ocean. Oh, 
crap, crap, crap. Ooh, don't go, don't go, don't go. Go over here. Go over here. One more to. Yeah, you suck. So I. Hmm. Let's see, I'm going to do this just to break that. There we go. I'll take that back. Drink some apple juice. Now, now I need to make. I need to put this away. Put that away. Hmm. What is this going to be good for in this pack? Oh, well, yeah, my texture pack makes TNT look interesting. Tiny TNT. Fell pumpkin from Botania. Tinker's Con. Oh, so I do have Tinker's Con. Creeper wings. Gunpowder. Oh. Neat. I wonder, when am I going to get these? So I'm going to have to make that a really big Grilly grow area. Hmm. Hmm. I need that stupid water. Wait, what was that? Reactant dynamo with redstone or glowstone stuff with gunpowder, huh? So I'm going to be doing. It's going to cover a lot of stuff. Iodine, for some reason. Oh, blast protection to make rocket fuel. Hmm. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Let's see. Need to make another one of those because I have no iron. Do I have anything in there? Oh, boogers. So I'm just gonna get a bit more of this. So I'm actually going to cut here and do a little bit of building and gathering and then I'm going to return to kind of finish it off and show you how I have made changes. All right. So I did a little bit of fixing. And uh, yeah, so I, I made two apple trees. And as much as I don't like bottom slabs, partially because I think, uh, I mean, I don't like having the, 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 the appearance of how it looks. Because, I mean, there, there's that. It's, I have to either add or I, I, I just, if somebody has any tips, for building with lower slabs like that, I am all ears. I want to know any tips you have on how to make a lower slab build. Oh, at least I'm not going to go over the fence. A lower slab build not look like complete crap. I mean, that's okay, I guess. And it, it fills in the hole a little bit, but it just, it, it, it kind of looks like crap. But that's what I'm doing is it's cheaper to build with slabs 
and it's just I really need to do the lower slabs for spawn lack of, lack of spawning space because this is going to be pretty large I think so I'm going to think I see some things over here to kill Ooh, I got a witch. What's the witch going to give me? I don't... Gunpowder, really. Don't really need the gunpowder. That just... That, that, that gets me every time. Right in the fields there. Ooh, I got a creeper head. I wonder what that's good for now in this particular pack. So there's all that. I mean, we might even have Ender I.O. Oh, the Valentine's block from Chisel. Made with the creeper head, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, we do have Ender I.O. So, yeah, I'll need to keep those. Ooh, maybe I'll get a Enderman head. Did I say Ender? Uh, what? I, I, I'm confusing myself. And, if you remember from looking at the other quests you can see that uh, those little tiny little fairy things buzzing around if you look closely enough I hope I'm recording in a good enough resolution that when you look closely enough they're actually striped red bees the most adorable things and she's Meadows Queen's working. She's got a long time to go. But I'm going to sleep on my pink bed. Oh, guess it's still not night. Oh, it's still my sunset. So there's that. Then I think because it was planes over here, planes over here, Stone Beach over here. That doesn't help me. I did put down the bee house over here to see if I could just make it over here. No, too cold. I still don't know where I'm going to be able to put my forest queen. I may have to just keep building and building in that direction in order to find an appropriate biome for Her Majesty of the Forest. But, I mean, at this point, really, it's just going to be me grinding out a lot of cobble. And I did... I went underneath here and I got more of the dirt because with the Garden of Glass, it's a big square of dirt. So you you do have starting out dirt. I just didn't even think about gathering it when I first started. So I went ahead and gathered some of it just to have, just in case I lose it, even though I'm trying to build everything as carefully as I can so I so the only thing I lose is the cobblestone uh, which yeah need to gather more pebbles the process of gathering pebbles it's one of those I could just sit here watch something on Hulu on the other monitor and just gather and that's actually something I might do I need all the cobblestone I can get. Currently, the only way to get cobblestone is to gather the pebbles and then form it into cobblestone. So, I think depending on how things go in the next few days, I will probably just do a build and gather session in between episodes. That way, I'm not going to bore you to tears 
watching me look for a forest biome. Because I can't even do just any biome with trees. It's going to have to be a forest. Because half the foresty biomes are going to be too cold for her. And then between now and then, I'm sure I'll get a whole lot of drones. Which seems kind of incestuous to me. But I guess bees are different. They have entirely different behaviors and and how their genetics work too. So yeah, we'll go with that. So I'm just going to gather more of this. And I'm going to end up going through a ton of the stone wands, I'm sure. Yeah, so there's nothing else for me to do until I can get to the get to obsidian. So So we're just going to work through these real quick. So the Buildcraft wooden gear isn't going to be crafted as normal, which Buildcraft is going to come in handy later because it has, it, it was the first pipe system to have direct compatibility with forestry bees and it can route the bees. Uh, automatically there's a specific pipe uh, to route the bees so you can completely automate an apiary and then ultimately an alveary I think I'm not sure if you can automate a bee house or not oh. square quest icons are normal quest user progress through the pack and then pointy cornered Icons unlock quests and other quest lines. Well, that's actually. Oh, like this one, because it's got the pointy corner. Well, that was good to know. I no, I have no reason to be in edit mode. Well, I've done all of those. I'm not doing those. That's, I don't need to worry about that. So I'm still working on that. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Because there's, I, I just have to build and build and build. And complete those two, complete those B quests in order to open up more. Once I've opened up more. I will, of course, just come on back and uh, we'll continue on as I survey my, well, actually my domain's not looking that bad now. I mean, I got to do a little bit of fixing here and there, dropping some of the slabs down a little bit but I mean for cobblestone it's not looking too bad but I hope you had a good time watching this and I hope your day is fantastic but thanks for checking me out and I will see you on the flip side bye bye